Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Nate. We are at Clayton Homes in Raleigh, North Carolina. Basically at the city line. There's Garner, that sign right there. But anyway, enough about that. We got to get on focused on this here. 1140 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, single wide. It has a really, really nice floor plan. Not your standard average cookie cutter floor plan in this one. You just wait and see. So as I said, 1140 square foot, three bedroom, two bath. So on the back side, yes, off of your dining room, you get a sliding glass door. How often do you see that on a single wide? That is in your living room area. So now let's hurry up and head on around. So they got an open house going on today. And they got, as somebody else calls that, Frank, going on. It looks like he's having some problems standing up. So I hope you all are enjoying these videos. I got a few more single wides that I got to film yet here. They may or may not be up on the channel yet. These will all be added to the single wide playlist. So what I like about when you first walk into this one is you've got this nice entertainment center staring straight at you. Love the windows going all the way around it. You can easily fit a really large TV in that area. Still got your shelf that you can use. And as far as single wides go, they give you a really large living room area. Now I have seen some where the front door isn't right into your living room. So keep that in mind. If you don't like your front door coming right into your living room, there are other floor plans. And in fact, I think one of them was here. So you'll have to check out that single white playlist and let me know what you think. Now we got to come into the kitchen. Like I said, not your standard cookie cutter kitchen. We've got this set of cabinets over here. So you can store some pretty big stuff in this area. So I get my arm and hand in the way. Then you've got your storage space up above. So this I would probably consider this to be like the pantry area since there really is no pantry. But that's a lot of storage area there. We've got these side-by-side -side Frigidaire appliances. Of course, I got it. <laughs> they got that right there. I can't. I'm trying to hide that. <laughs> so side-by-side -side Frigidaire appliances or refrigerator. Of course, the black version. You can always option in different brand or different styles. Now these almost feel like a rough cut on the texture of your cupboards there. So you got four drawers right next to your stove. And then you got this great big opening here, perfect for your pots and pans. And I guess you can see they ran that same, it's not really a backsplash, but that same paneling all the way down. Looks really good though. Now 
A lot of counter space in here. And then you've got your dining room area with that sliding glass door. So it's nice to kind of see a separate dining room area built into a single wide. It's not something you usually see. Especially with the sliding glass door. And then, kind of off your dining room area, you do have a door so you can close this area off, but your utility room, the washer and dryer hookups, full size, non-stackable, and your electric panel is on the back side. So it does take away from the ability to put a freezer in here. We're gonna come down to this end of the home where we've got our kids' rooms and our bathroom. Of course, the furnaces we walk by. So now this is the, the uh, smaller room. Now this one is a little bit wider than your standard third bedroom, but you're losing space because they got the furnace right there. So they made it wider, would have been a nice size room. Just wish they would have figured out a better place to put the furnace. And in our closet area here. And in our bathroom, we've just got our standard guest bathroom in here. Except they went with these square porcelain sinks. One big counter door on your cabinet down below. Now this is the two piece shower tub combo. And in our back bedroom. Now this one runs the full width of the home. So you get a really large bedroom back here. Then we've got our closet right here. Now both the closets in these rooms are a little on the smaller side, but I like to see them just a little bit bigger. But the way this home is designed, I can't complain. I would sacrifice a little bit of closet space. Of course, they're not my bedrooms, but I would sacrifice a little bit of closet space in order to get this type of layout. And so coming into the master bedroom, Really nice set of big windows over there. Overall, you've got a really large master bedroom in here. And now our closet is a little bit wider than the door and it runs quite a ways down. So you got a full size walk-in closet And in our bathroom, this is what really sets this one apart. Right there. Yep. That is a full size, five foot long soaker tub. How often do you see that in a master bathroom in a single wide? And not only do you have this big soaker tub, of course the dual square porcelain sinks, hello Raiden. Really nice fixtures here. I didn't really point out this uh, little storage cabinet over here. 
But behind all this, you have a full size dual bench, one piece fiberglass shower. Of course, I don't know why you need a shower curtain when you've got the shower doors. <laughs> you know why? Go ahead and leave me a comment down below, and then I'll be right back with uh, some price information after you leave that comment. All right, well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. So this was a 1140 square foot two bed or excuse me three bedroom two bathroom single wide. So this one is found at Clayton Homes in Raleigh, North Carolina. So the price that I'm about to give you may or may not be the price that you pay where you have this home set up and delivered. As we know, prices vary over time. There could be extra city, county regulation fees, things like that that we can't account for. This is also at time of filming in October of 2022. So keep all that kind of stuff in mind. But as set up, or as shown, I should say, this home comes in $96,000, almost 97, so we're 96 and a half thousand, somewhere in that range. So I would call it 97,000 due to, you know, price fluctuations, things like that. So I hope you all really enjoyed this one. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload three times a week, Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Bye.